Okay, so today we are going to be walking you through how to properly pack a bookshelf with removable shelves. So we're going to have removable shelves, removable hardware, and we're going to walk through the entire prog process of packing the bookshelf. Again, have Victor from Eastville with me today. Say hello, Victor. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. All right. All right. So um, we're going to be using brown paper pads, unprinted newsprint, and today we're going to be wrapping the bookshelf in one eighth inch thick styrofoam and corrugate. So we have corrugate and one eighth inch styrofoam. We already have it cut the size. I'll show you how to do that. Very easy to work with. So we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing that we <laughs> need to do is we need to wrap the bookshelves in brown paper pads. And Victor's going to help me do that. So let's see, let's start with the bottom, like you said. So just want to remove the bookshelves very carefully. I'll move this out of the way so you can see what he's doing. Doesn't need to put too much protection on it because it's going to be um, stored in the bottom of the bookshelf. So he is going to wrap it like, like what, Victor? A burrito. He's going to wrap it like a burrito. So fold the sides in, turn it one more time. The paper's nice and tight on there, and he's going to put it in the bottom of the bookshelf. We have two more shelves that we're going to do that with. Same thing. Wrap it in the brown paper pad like a burrito. <laughs> that way it's not going anywhere. The paper's going to stay on it. You don't even have to put any tape on it. It's nice and secure and it's protective for its travel. Okay, and he's got one more shelf to go. While he's wrapping the last shelf, I'm going to remove the hardware. If you don't remove the hardware, as it's bouncing down the highway, if it, as it's going to its travel, this is going to slide out. One or two of them are going to get lost, and you won't be able to put the shelves back on when you get to destination. So remove all the hardware, the shelf. And so Victor has moved all the shelf supports. We have a little bit more hardware that's going to go with, and he's going to wrap it in unprinted newsprint. So he has his unprinted newsprint. He's going to put the hardware inside of it and wrap it up real nice and tight. Then he's going to place the bundle of hardware in a gallon-sized baggie. Gallon size zip like baggie. So he wrapped all the hardware in the unprinted newsprint, put it in the gallon size baggie, zip the baggie, and now he's going to take. Well, why don't you tell him what you're going to do? Right now, I'm going to take um, two labels. Two labels, they say hardware inside, and I'll place one onto the front of the baggie and one on the back of the bag just so they can see the hardware is in there and to identify it quickly. Okay, the next step that he's going to do, he's going to take that baggie and he's going to wrap it in brown paper pads. He's going, but he's going to make the brown paper pad flat and wide so it's easy to spot. He's not going to roll it up really tight. He's going to make it flat and right, wide again, sort of like a burrito. And um, so it's easier to spot in the box. If there's a big box or a lot of things in the boxes or several boxes, we want to make sure that the hardware is easy to spot. So we put it in the baggie, we put it in the brown paper pad, and we roll the brown paper pad up wide so again it's easy to spot. I'll then put another hardware inside on both sides. So that's going to be easy to spot, right? No matter which direction is facing up, it's a flat piece. So no matter which direction is facing up, you're going to see the hardware inside. Yes. We're going to put that in the bottom with the shelves. Then we are going to move this out of the way. 
So let's see, just going to move this a little bit. And we already have some pre-cut styrofoam and corrugate. Easiest way to do that is probably cut it off. Should have two of each. So if you want to just take one and oh, I see. just take that one and put it out of the way. Okay, so have uh, corrugate and styrofoam cut in the same lengths. We're going to lay them down flat. Uh, make them even, and we are going to set the bookshelf in the center of the corrugate and styrofoam. Once, once, you are going to have to step on the corrugate every once in a while, but step on as least as possible because where you do, it's going to press it down and make it less effective in protecting the piece. So step on as little as possible. Okay, so we have the bookshelf centered on the corrugate and styrofoam. So what we're going to do is lower this down so you can see it. There's several different ways you can do this. Um, my, my favorite way to do it is what we're going to teach you today. We're going to use our razor knives and we're going to cut through the styrofoam and the corrugate. Um, right next to the bookshelf so we can lift it up. Um, lift this side up next to the bookshelf. So we're going to cut through the styrofoam and the corrugate in a straight line even with the back and the front of the bookshelf. And that way when you're ready to start wrapping as you can see the side just lifts up next to the bookshelf and then we can bring these up. Now the corrugate, it's going to be hard to bend it around the edge of the bookshelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to score the corrugate. It's just like when you're customizing a box, you score it to, so you can uh, bend it in that area. We're going to do the same thing with the corrugate here. And we're going to run right along the edge of the bookshelf again. We're not cutting all the way through. We're just scoring it so it'll be easier to bend. Okay, we'll do the same thing with the back. And again, you're not going all the way through. You're just scoring the corrugate so it, you make it easier to bend. Okay, so Victor, what we're going to do first before we lift the corrugate up is we're going to fill this area the rest of the way up with dunnage. That's in case the bookshelf gets turned on its side, turned on its top while it's being transported. This isn't going to bounce around inside the bookcase and damaging the shelves or the bookcase. So just a little bit of dunnage to keep it in place. That's great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to lift the edges up. Okay, so as you can see, that is pretty well protected all the way around. We're going, we have a top section cut. We'll do the same thing with the top section now. We're going, what we want to do is we want to cover this 100% before we put it in the box. Okay, so what we're going to do again is we're going to cut all the way through the foam and the corrugate on right even with the front and the back of the bookshelf okay again so we can fold that portion down and we are going to score the corrugate on the side the front and the back so we can um, make it form around the bookshelf easy. Okay, so as you see, he didn't have to use a whole lot of tape on that. Um, it's now the bookshelf, the shelves, and the parts are very well protected. It's, this is ready to go into the box. 
that we've already prepared. So we'll see if we can just bring the box right in front. Okay, yeah. so prior to um, starting the video, Victor customized a, um, this was a mattress box. Okay, so he, made, he had to make it wider, not as long, so the bookshelf would fit inside the mattress box. So he, he took a box that didn't fit and customized it so it would fit. Um, we're going to go ahead and it's got the, as you can see, it's got styrofoam all the way around, edge guards, edge guards all the way around. So we'll drop the bookshelf in here and then we'll protect it and go from there. Ready? Go to, go to me. Wow, you did a great job Ooh, sizing that, great. man. Okay, so see, that is an excellent fit. There's just a little bit of space that we're going to put a little bit of dunnage on top. Okay, just want to fill in any holes with the dunnage. Then we're going to put our styrofoam on top. And our edge guards all the way around the top. We will get this all nice and taped up, all taped all the way around. And then, of course, the next step would be to black shrink wrap the box all the way around. So we already discussed it, black shrink wrap all the way around all, all six sides. Back a little bit. So, but we're going to go, we're going to say that this is already black shrink wrap, and Victor's going to put on the labels like he's done in the past. He's going to tell you why he's putting on each label. The pinnacle label needs to be on it. The pinnacle label is to identify what's in there. We did a bookcase, this is for a bookcase. So I put the pinnacle label on first the fragile handle with care on all metro white glove product we uh we put it on i'll put it on all four sides then i'll put the arrows up on it the arrows up is how we packed it so it needs to stay like this in while we pack it in transit it needs to stay this way me and jim we repurposed the box so we were used the repurposed label because it's not the original box and it's a repurposed box. So we identify it that way. We have the hardware inside. We've seen in the baggie, it's very vis visible on both sides. It shows the hardware. So we'll put it once again so they know that the hardware is inside. Down. And lastly, this is af after we check. Um, this is uh, the special instructions on whatever the product is, uh, what kind of box, what kind of foaming, whatever the special instructions say between me and uh, Kim, who who's helps me so much in this department. So she'll let me know and I'll look into it. And then after we packed it the way it's supposed to be packed, I'll place this here. And then I will go into Pinnacle and I will put certified by Victor or certified by Kim depending on if it was me or her who checked it. But it, the, showing this certifies that it's supposed to be packed the proper way. Thank you very much, Victor. As usual, Victor did a fantastic job. Really appreciate it. Um, again, um, this box, you have to visualize that it was black shrink wrapped on all six sides before we put the labels on there. Once it is black shrink wrapped, once you have all the labels on, once the Metro White Glove Certified Representative goes into the system, uh, certifies that it has been packed properly, it's ready to go into your next slot. Okay? That is the way to properly pack a bookshelf with removable shelves and loose hardware.